previously on Dragon Quest Builders. We're just filling the gaps. Have a block. I'm just like shoving dirt in her face. <laughs> Sorry. What kind of name is that? Doesn't sound like you have any special powers at all. Whatever, your name's Pippa. Shut up. Oh, you have to put it on the floor. Is it better than the floor though? Just look at it. Hello uh, and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. The first thing you may notice is that I have actually cleaned up our little town a little bit. We have got a dirt wall all around us, yay! <laughs> it's not like the best wall or anything and I couldn't work out how to fill this block in here which was really annoying because I could put one above it but I can't actually like fill the hole in because it says you're not like you're too high or something. Look, I'll show you. So if I like fill, you can fill them in if you are on the lower floor but you can't like fill it in if you're already in it and like you can't fill it in if you're standing like out of it. It just doesn't work. It normally says um that you're too high up but for some reason it's not letting me target it but whatever. Yeah, it's really annoying. I really want to fill that hole in. It's like really irritating me. <laughs> and I can't like get rid of this floor either because then this like thing like floats and it just looks stupid. So like I'm just gonna have to get further into the game and I can't delete this wall which is really infuriating. <laughs> So I guess I'll just have to like just carry on playing. I'm sure I'll get some way of deleting that wall because it's just really annoying and yeah anyway I have farmed a bit of resources of what I've got in here. I've got a bit of extra dirt and I've got like 98 dirt on me as well so we got quite a lot of dirt and I found some pink petals which were like lying around. Not sure what they're for but yeah that's basically it. Let's talk to this girl and see what our next thing is going to be. Maybe we'll be able to craft something else. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Like, maybe I could build something. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in, just like the one in this picture. Multi, can you please build me a room like the one I've drawn, please? Pretty please. It would seem that your example has awoken within young Pippa the will to build. Yay! Blueprints such as the one she has gifted unto you may be laid on the ground by pressing square. Okay. So she gave us a blueprint and we have to make it. For the workbench, you could use that mason's workstation near the flag. You'll probably have to bash it about a bit before you can move it. What? Oh, and the room will need a door, so we're going to be able to build doors now. That's awesome. Okay, I obtained the picture. Make me a workroom. She is bossy. We can make straw doors. Why can't we make wooden doors? Ah, I'm sure we'll get there. Okay, whoa, so this is the blueprint. Okay, can we put it next to the one that we already have? I want to put it like there. Yeah, I think that'll be alright. Let's put it there. Oh, it's not enough space. Really? Why? Oh, maybe it's the bit that's like, there's no bit of um, dirt there, is there? I don't know where to put it. It's like nowhere. It's like nowhere. We'll put it right in this corner. Yeah, there we go. So we can view blueprint. Ah, okay. That's really cool, actually. I like that. That's cool. So we've got to do two blocks high. We've got to build a work table, a chest, is that a fireplace, a bonfire, oh it says that on the side, earth, a bonfire, okay so we need 48 earth, good job I've gathered some earth, <laughs> so let's see what we can build, let's build, we need a bonfire, so we need blue goo and broken branches which I already have so we can actually make one of those already and we need to make a door, so let's make a door, grassy leaves and broken branches for the door and we need a chest, We've already made a chest before, so we can make that easy. Anything else? I'm not sure if we need anything else, but let's like start building the actual walls. So I guess we just need to follow the pattern on the floor. It's quite easy actually. They made it pretty easy for us. I think it's turning night time. We can hear like chirping or like weird noises. Anyway, I'm just gonna do this. Keep going, just go around, make the house. Hey, there's grass in the way get rid of that grass okay oh oh well we need to do two stories anyway I didn't actually mean to put that there but never mind this is really cool I really like this um, idea that you can actually like just build over the top of it it's really cool Let's keep going around I think this will look nice 
really want to unlock some like better blocks or something because dirt walls it does not make me feel very safe although it feel a lot safer than when we had like no walling around us at least we have like some walls but still dirt you can literally destroy it in like two hits so <laughs> it's not very safe okay it's turning night time now i've been out once at night time nothing really changes too much but we'll probably get like harder enemies around and stuff okay now let's put the door down so the door goes here let's put the door there we go and a bonfire goes in the corner Yay, we got an empty room. Oh, so the bonfire is like in replace of the torch. What else have we got to put down? We need Mason's workstation and a chest. There's where the chest goes. We just need the workstation. Let's go and see if we can make one. What do we need to make our workstation? How do we, do we just take this one? I think we just take this one. Oh, okay. So you can just like destroy that one and pick it up and move it. Right. It'd be better if I could actually just make another one, but whatever. Here you go. Here's your very own little workstation room. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Yep, we made a stonemason's workshop. Okay. Is she actually going to help me build now? I built your room. Hello. Hooray. You built the work room I asked for. Thanks, Multi. It's just like the one in my picture. Oft will the inhabitants of your town seek to assist your efforts by presenting you with blueprints. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other construction, search for them in the nearby wilderness. Some materials can only be obtained by defeating the monsters that maraud the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. I'm going to use my new workroom to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put it all in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at all the amazing things I made. Oh cool! So she's actually gonna like put stuff in my chest. Oh I got a coarse cloth. I wonder what I can make with that. What? What? She just gave me stuff. I got another mattress. Cool. Okay. I'll put that down. Why not? <laughs> Even though there's only two of us. Thanks again for the workroom multi. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. He looked like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city. Why are we asking a weirdo? <laughs> He was on the other side of the mountains the last time I saw him. Go and find him, Multi, and get him to join us. I have to, like, force him to join us. Make good use of your compass, my child. It will be of great use to you in finding which you seek. Okay. Press the options to stock your surroundings and search for the fellow. Okay. A new quest marker has appeared. Follow your compass. Okay, so we have to follow the Q marker on the compass right that makes sense okay we have another blueprint here what is this blueprint i guess i have to like put it down so i can see what it actually is it's like really irritating because i don't have that much room around here okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move all this make the hole go somewhere else the hole is really annoying the random hole is now in this little corner <laughs> and i'm hoping that i can like build the blueprint here please yes it let me put it down that's awesome because like i really just like want to make it all nice and neat i don't want to put it in like really stupid places it's annoying so what even are we building anyway pippa's picture it's just another workstation why do we need another one i don't know whatever i'll build it anyway because why not i don't know maybe we'll need it for something i'm sure we're gonna need more than one workstation but i don't know how we're gonna get another one of those um like stonemason things because last time i just picked it up and like kind of moved it so like i don't really know how we're gonna do that maybe we're not gonna i don't know right there we go there's the outside we just have to build the stuff inside i need to go and use your workstation because you nicked mine you nicked my workstation. <laughs> How can we make another one though? I can't make another one. That's really, really annoying. We can make a bonfire. We can make a door. We can make the chest. Oh no, we can't. We need more stuff, but whatever. I'll just do this. I'll just put the door down. Here, have a door. Pow. And I'll put the bonfire down. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Damn it. 
I didn't mean to put it there. I wanted to put it there. Okay, we got an empty room, but I can't exactly finish it off just yet. Anyway, let's go and find this mysterious man. Very intriguing. I don't even know if I can jump out of this place. Oh, I can. Okay. So let's go towards and see if we can find him. I'm just going to, like, destroy anything I come across as well. Any materials. Oh, I'm really hungry. Oh, no. haven't been eaten. Okay, there we go. Just eat some food. Oh, my God. We're, like, starving. We haven't eaten in, like, five weeks. <laughs> there we go. Uh, eat those plums. Plum things. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to keep going and collecting everything as we continue. Let's go let's go where is this guy anyway what is he doing why is there a signpost what does the signpost say there's an old worn signpost here with the words my pledge emblazoned at the top there's a lot of writing underneath would you like to read it okay how many years have passed since the vile and wicked dragon lord enshrouded our realm in darkness Monsters roamed the land unchecked, and even my dear home, the city of Cantlin, have finally fallen. It was but a matter of months after being robbed of the power to create that we did begin to lose our culture. Even now, fewer and fewer of our people are literate. For so long did we take that most dear and precious power for granted, that without it we are undone. But if I cannot prevent humanity's decline, at least I can record it. To this end, I resolve to travel the lands of Alfregard and take note of what has befallen mankind. May this notice stand testament to my vow. My battery's low, damn it. I intend to collate the records of my journey into a book which I shall title A Passage to Tantijal. I invite all who read this pledge to follow in my footsteps and seek out my story. May the goddess watch over thee in all thine adventures. Sir Reginald Augustus Grainus Catalin Brigade of Guards. Oh my god, that's a long title. So it was some guard guy. So I don't know if it's the guy that we're looking for. But, oh, there seems to be some kind of settlement over here. There's a bonfire that can only mean humans. Why is there like a box? I'll destroy the box. I have a box. I have a crate. The bonfire is burning brightly. It looks like it has been freshly stoked. Somebody must be nearby. Okay, a new quest marker has appeared. Here we go over here. Okay, let's collect these little things on the way. We need to make sure that we have food at all times because, like, I don't really want to die. <laughs> so, oh, we got a slime. Let's kill the slime. Slime attack. Another slime over here. Wouldn't it be awesome if Helix was in here? You know, like a little slime that looks like Helix. They should totally have a helix. There's birds things here. Let's kill the birds. I wonder if they give like their feathers or something. Give me your feathers. What does it drop? It actually does actually got a chimera feather. Oh, chimera wing. Wait, that's weird. Okay, we've worked out how to make a wing out of a feather. Right, that makes sense. So, oh look, there's a house. There's a house. Is the guy in here? Where is he? He's not here. Let's destroy all his stuff. Because <laughs> I am totally evil. Oh no, I've got no room. What should I get rid of? I'll just get rid of the branches. How do I get rid of them? How do I destroy stuff? Get rid of those. That'll do. Give me that. What is that? There's like a note up there. I want it. I want it. Give me that. And let's see if I can... Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. See if I can get rid of another item. Because I really want that. What shall I get rid of let's just get rid of the earth not like i need that i got loads of earth okay we got a note what does the note say do i place it can i read it whoa what the hell was that what was that was it the bird i think it was the bird the bird's after me come here bird oh no oh no don't go on top of the thing i can't hit you when you're up there okay Oh no, it's like really hurting me. Quick, 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 let's eat something. Quick, ah, <laughs> oh my god. Ouch, that's so, no, no. Oh my god, one health. Oh no, seven health. Okay, I don't know how much health, but it's bad. How do I get health? Oh, I need to make these things, don't I? Oh, damn it, I don't even have anything. Let's, can we sleep? Ah, oh, I can only sleep inside a proper room. 
Damn, it's not good. Let's just take the note and get out of here. Oh no, the bird's seen me. Quick, run, run. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god, I am terrible. I'm just failing already. Oh, he's following me. Oh my god, it's not good. Like, I hardly get any life back. Am I even getting life back from these? I don't think I am. All right, we're going to go back to base and we're going to like... I should have picked that note up. God damn it. We need to go back to base and we need to make some of those healing things. Those those like little healing things that you can make with white petals. So we definitely need that because I literally have no healing items at all. So it's bad. All right, I put some stuff away. I put some stuff away in the chest and I'm going to make loads of healing things. I'm going to make as many as I possibly can. So we're going to be able to make eight pots. There we go. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, let's go out onto our adventures again. I broke a bit of the wall so I could actually get in because I didn't have like a door or anything. I should build a door here. You know, that would make more sense. And why didn't I build a door? You know what, I'll build a door just very quickly. So like, I don't have to keep breaking <laughs> the earth every time. There we go, that's better. Now I can actually just open the door instead of breaking my wall every time. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep. Before we go, I'm gonna just have a little nap instead of wasting all my healing items. Let's just have a sleep. All right, let's go. Let's get revenge on those pesky chimeras. You know what, I'm gonna jump up this little bit of wall here to see if I can see anything. <gasps> What's that? There's like a little thing here. Is this where we started? I can't even see inside the wall. How am I supposed to see where I'm going? That's ridiculous. I think actually that's where I started. I have a feeling that's where I started actually. Like when I very first started the game. So I think we're supposed to go this way. So this was where I was before. So this is where the note is. That really hurt. Damn. Ouch. Go away. Go away. Go away. I got a slime on me and a bird. Let's get rid of that bird. There we go. I want that note, so let's pick that up. I'm going to take all this stuff too. And I'm going to take the door. Okay. Oh look, there's a thing here. Let's take that too. Take the tree stump. Okay, nice, 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 nice. We found a lot of different things there. We're going to eat one more healing cream and we're going to take this mushroom. Continue forward. I'm supposed to go over here somewhere. Not entirely sure where, but somewhere here. I see something. Somebody's like set up camp here. I'm just going to take these branches, these mushrooms, mine, mine, mine. Can you go in the water? You can go in the water. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure if you could. Okay. More, more plums. Plums, plums, plums. Lots of resources around here. Loads of stuff. I'm not sure what these mushrooms are for. Maybe you can eat them, but it doesn't seem like I can right now. Can I eat them? No, I can't actually eat them. So it could be something for later. Maybe you can make like a meal with it or something. Look, there's more stuff here. There's torches. What? Talk? Is he inside the block? Okay, let's talk. Uh, hello? <coughs> Is someone there? <laughs> Those rotten monsters have buried me alive. Oh my god. They've completely covered me in dirt. I can't get out. How did you manage to end up in that situation? <laughs> Please, whoever you are, get me out of here. Okay. Hurry, my child. L1 or R1 to aim your attacks above or below you. Okay. Guide your blows carefully and free this man from his earthen tomb. So, okay, we need to go upwards. We need to attack upwards. We don't want to attack him, do we? Oh, look, there's his head. I see your head. Hey, dude. How do I attack the wall in front of you? Hey, how are you doing? Phew, free at last. It looks like a dwarf or something. I cannot thank you enough, young lady. Wahahaha. <laughs> but tell me, who exactly are you? I'm sure I would remember such a funny looking face. Hey, that's me. What? You say you're building a town near here? By my bushy beard, that is wonderful news. Let me help. Let me join your city and help to rebuild it. Well, that was easy. He joined, like, really easily. Hmm? What are you pulling that face for? You looked like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may take whatever strange face you like. I'll find my way to your town whether you like it or not. Wahahaha. <laughs> I am Rolo, the proud owner of that most vulnerable of books. 
the Cantlin Chronicle. I assure you that it and I will prove invaluable to this new city of yours. Now, lead the way. Take me to your town. Take me to your leader. <laughs> I don't know exactly the way back, okay? I don't remember, so you might be following me for a while. <laughs> Where do we go? I don't even remember. Can you go up pathways? Does he not? Okay, he does jump up. Okay, that's good. I don't want to like go all the way back for him. Let's attack this slime. We got some good stuff on the way as well, which was really nice. I found like a tree stump. I found some other things. I found a torch and just like some stuff to save me building, which was really nice. And yeah, the tree stump I think is like a workbench. So we will have another workbench. Hopefully I can put it in that blueprint area and it will make the room probably. Anyway, this guy is now back in our town. We now have two villagers. Yay! Come into my little town. Woo! Yay! New friend. <laughs> What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? You might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. Okay, <laughs> but but he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? Oh, so if he has a beard, that means he's dependable. Really? And he must be really clever too. I mean, he's got such a big bushy beard after all. But anyway, now that you've found a new friend, we can all work together to make this the best city in the whole of Alfgard. Okay, I got another seed of life. I wonder what these do. No idea what they do. But this guy now has a quest for us. By my bristly brows, this town is positively brimming with life. It is. Why, I do believe that the Catlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's the perfect location to bring the legendary city of Cantlin back to life. Awesome, let's do it. Oh ho, my mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Cantling Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge, passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Multi. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Yay. Okay, let's see if we can put that tree stump down and make it into like, um, can we put this down to make it into our thing? You know, another workshop. Maybe this guy can build in the other workshop. I don't know. What are we missing? We're missing a chest, aren't we? We're missing a chest in the other room. So we need broken branches. Have I not got any broken branches? I need one more broken branch. I think it's those twig things, isn't it? We need to find another twig thing. Thing. Oh, look, there's one right there. There we go. Okay, let's build this chest. And then hopefully it should like fill that room. That's what I'm hoping anyway. It doesn't... Ah, oh, oh, we do need a proper mason's workstation. It doesn't work with the tree stump. Well, we're just going to have to leave it like that for now. I mean, it is basically a room, but it's just not completing because we don't have the right thing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop here for today. We do have a quest from this new villager, so I will find out what that is next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time. Even get to bronze